Hello there, welcome to Wise Guys. <clears throat> Today we're looking at solving of questions uh, in division of algebraic expressions. And again, just a reminder that when we're working with uh, dividing algebraic expressions, we divide the letters and the numbers. So here's our numbers, minus 20 and 4, so we have to do that division, and we also divide the letters. And typically we only have positive exponents in our answer, not negative exponents. So in, as I showed you in the previous video, I'm going to be using the shortcut to work with these. So here we have minus 20 over 4, here's our numbers minus 20 divided by 4, what we do is divide both of them by 4. So this is 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then the top minus 20 divided by 4 is minus 5. Here we have m to the fifth in the numerator and m to m cubed in the denominator. If we divide this one by m cubed, we end up with 1, so all these three are gone. If we divide this one by m cubed, we take away 3 of our m's, and so this becomes m squared. Here we have n cubed in the numerator and n to the fourth in the denominator. So we're going to get rid of 3 of these n's in the numerator, three of them in the denominator, so that will take away the 4 and leave us with 1 n in the denominator. And here we have x squared divided by x squared. They are the same, so they will just cancel one another and leave us with 1. So now it's important when you're doing this to be very careful as you're going through it, because as you can see it looks a little messy. You want to be really clear with yourself about what you've done. So I know that the minus 20 divided by 4 left me with minus 5. I know that my m to the fifth divided by my m cubed left me with m squared. I'm going to write that down. I know that I had three n's in the numerator and four in the denominator. So I now have an n in the denominator. <coughs> and my x squared cancels one another out. So this is my answer. Okay, let's try another one. <coughs> now when you have something like this, a multiplication using brackets, the first thing you want to do is multiply these through. So we have minus 4 multiplied by 3, which gives us minus 12. We have r multiplied by r which gives us r squared. We have s squared multiplied by s, which gives us s cubed. And we have t multiplied by t cubed, which gives us t to the fourth. Now we're going to divide by 4 r cubed s cubed t to the fourth. We divide top and bottom by 4. This one's gone, this one's gone, leaves us with minus 3. So we end up with a minus 3. We can see we have r squared in the numerator and r cubed in the denominator. We divide top and bottom by r squared, this one leaves us with 1. And this one, we end up losing 2 of our r's and we have 1 r left. So we end up with r in the denominator. Here we have s cubed divided by s cubed. They're the same, so we divide top and bottom by s cubed and we're left with 1. Here we have t to the fourth divided by t to the fourth. They're the same, so we get rid of them. We're left with 1, and you can see we have all this space. We don't need it. Our answer is minus 3 over r. And here we have one of those questions, which is an addition. So we're, what we're going to want to do is um, put each of these 
over its own denominator. That's our very first step. So it, really you don't have to do much other than just make sure each of these is over the same denominator. So we have minus 4 r s squared t over 4 r cubed <coughs> s cubed t to the fourth. And then a plus sign because that's what we have here. 3 r s t cubed over 4 r cubed s cubed t to the fourth. That's the first step. And then at this point we just do cancellations. So we have minus 4 divided by 4. These two are gone and we're left with 1. So we have minus 1. We have r in the numerator and r cubed in the denominator. Divide this by r, we're left with 1. We divide this by r and we're left with r squared. So we have r squared in the denominator. We have s squared in the numerator, s cubed in the denominator. We divide this by s squared, we're left with 1. We divide the bottom by s squared. One of these s's goes and we're left, or two of them I should say, and we're left with s to the 1. So we have an s in the denominator. We have 1t in the numerator and 4 in the denominator. So we get rid of the 1 in the numerator by dividing it by t, that leaves us with 1. And we take the t4 divided by t, that gets rid of one of these t's and we're left with 3. So this is then t cubed with minus 1 in the numerator. We add it to, now we see that here that we have 3 over 4, so we're just going to leave that the way it is, 3 over 4. We have r in the numerator, r cubed in the denominator. This r goes, one of these goes, and we're left with r squared in the denominator. We have s in the numerator and s cubed in the denominator. So practically the same thing here. We get rid of one of the s's in the numerator and one of the s's in the denominator, so we're left with f squared. We have t cubed in the numerator and t to the fourth in the denominator, so we're getting rid of three t's, three to the cube in the numerator, so we're dividing that by three cubed, we're dividing the bottom by three cubed, that leaves us with one in the bottom. So just rewriting this so it looks a little neater. We end up with minus, and I'm going to put the minus in front of the front of this piece, 1 over r squared s t cubed plus 3 over 4 r squared s squared t. And that's the final answer for that one. And here we have something that you would see in electronics. Question with frequency and inductors and resistance and that sort of thing. We're trying to solve this question and again what we're going to do is take each piece in the numerator and put it over the same denominator. So that's the first step. 2 pi f l over pi f r minus pi f r squared over pi f r. So we can see that we have no number in the denominator. If The number we do have actually is 1. So 2 divided by 1 is still 2 in the numerator, so that's going to stay the, the same. We'll have 2 there. We see that we have pi divided by pi, so both of these are gone. We see that we have f divided by f, so both of these cancel. And we're left with l in the numerator and r in the denominator. We have our subtraction sign. Here we can see that we have pi divided by pi. Those two are gone, we're left with 1. 
we have f divided by f. Those two are gone. We're left with 1. We have r squared in the numerator and r in the denominator, so we are dividing top and bottom by r. When we divide this by r, we're left with 1. So it just gets rid of one of the r's, right? We're left with one r. This one, we divide it by r, and that leaves us with one. <coughs> so we end up with r. Could you see our pi is gone, our frequency is gone, our r in the denominator is gone, and we're left with the r in the numerator. And that would be our final answer. Okay, so that's uh, another video from from Wise Guys. I hope you have a good day and if you have any concerns call the Learning Assistance Center at 632-2251 or any questions actually. Thanks.